Beckham talk that uh, they want young kids not to head the ball in football. Oh, really? Yeah, in, in our soccer. You know. so it's, it's all changing, it's an isn't it? Subject. Let's go on to the weather. Alexis is here and um, you can put your thermals away. It's going to be warm. Yes. Is that it? Turning a lot milder. <laughs> yeah, also rain as well, yes. Annie Stevens took this picture this morning of horses galloping along East Preston, uh, East Preston Beach, in fact. Ed Garbett took this early morning shot of the Causeway. That's at Freshwater on the Isle of Wight. And Barbara Morris uh, took the frosty conditions at RSPB Otmore in Oxfordshire. So we'll have little in the way of frost over the next few nights. Tonight we are looking at a, a lot of rain moving in from the southwest. It will be quite cloudy. The rain initially light and patchy, but will turn heavy during the early hours of the morning, more so after midnight tonight. So some of us will have some drier periods, patchy rain here and there, some heavier bursts and lows. For northernmost areas, 4 to 5 Celsius. Along the south coast, a low of 6 to 7 degrees. So a wet start to the day tomorrow. This band of rain will reinvigorate throughout the course of the morning. We may even have the odd rumble of thunder. It will clear western parts and much of the region by the afternoon. Following it, some sunny spells and the odd very isolated shower. A little more cloud the further east you are. And temperatures will reach a high of 10 to 11 Celsius. That's double what we've had over recent days. So through the course of tomorrow night, there will be clear spells, varying amounts of cloud here and there. Maybe a touch of frost in sheltered spots in the countryside, but the increasing breeze will keep that at bay and temperatures will fall away to around 5 to 8 Celsius, so staying above freezing. Saturday's the better day of the weekend. We'll have some sunny spells. There will be a little bit of cloud, perhaps some fog patches the further north and east you are. They may be stubborn to clear. And then this next weather system is going to arrive after dark Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday. You can see the squeeze on the isobars, the winds will increase in strength as well. So let's take a look at the weekend as a whole. It will be a lot milder, especially on Sunday, it will be very mild for the time of year. Sunny spells for Saturday should be mainly dry, cloudy on Sunday with a chance of drizzle at times. Here's the outlook for the weekend and into next week. Tomorrow we'll have some rain at first. That will clear most places during the early part of the afternoon. The winds will be brisk with the rain and we may even have some thunder. Through Saturday, dry and bright, sunny spells for some, varying amounts of cloud. Sunday, the chance of drizzle, a lot of dry weather as well, but it will be very mild for the time of year. Remaining mild into Monday, a dry start, but rain is expected later. Sally. It's like a yo-yo, this weather, it is. isn't it? We were just saying, was it minus nine at Benson? Was it Tuesday or Wednesday night? Wednesday night. Mm. And now it's 12 degrees tomorrow. It's complete contrast in temperatures. Extraordinary, isn't it? Very much a cold snap. It is. It was, yes. Our weather yes. expert. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's it from us. More <laughs> at 8 and 10.30. Thanks for watching tonight. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.